right, so here we go. We have a new acquisition here in this box. Let me see what we have. how this looks like right now you can see this is my deep cool mega cooler there's two fans and some some cooler thingy on my Ryzen 9 there is no GPU whatsoever I removed GTX 460 apparently iGPU works faster without uh, GTX 460 which was slowing it down in front you have two fans one and two in back you have one fan and you can upgrade it you can put here even like fans and everywhere like you can make it more fun stuff right and i have some power cables coming out here hopefully that's uh, 12 i'm not sure it's 12 but actually there is more there's more there is eight each eight that's 16 okay there is 16 of pins so i hope that will be sufficient to power this little monster let's uh you know unpack this wonderful thing let's see what we need to do i need to use my scalpel to remove the pl plastic here okay one plastic is gone just put it on the side okay another one is gone now let's see what it looks like okay here we go that's our um, amazing. Hmm. Oh, maybe I just take out the pole. The pole. Okay. So I don't know. I need to take this out. I'm so excited. How do I take it out without breaking anything? I know. I just take away this box and I put it like this upside down and I try to just use the gravity here. Oh, gravity worked. So, installation guide. It says something here about the 6 pin, 8 pin connectors. You can just put them in. So, why do I need extra cable then? This is 10 years old power supply and it has 850 watts. You know? Even though the GTX didn't take that much, neither Phenom did. Okay, well, I wonder what I do with this. Does this go somewhere? Oh, I'm supposed to put here... Hmm, do I need to put all three of them into it? It's kind of weird. That one is smaller, right? Yeah, this is smaller. So how many of those? I need all three of them here. Oh my god, I need extra cable then. Remove existing display driver. I don't have one, but I need to make space because this is a three slot version and the previous card was two slot version. Take this out. Now I need to find out how I'm gonna fit that in here because you see those cables they are in the way. They're kind of in the way but we'll figure this out. Okay so I suspect I just put this in here. There is these shapes here so I'm sure that I'm not putting things in the wrong way. Oh this one fit. Um, Perfect. One is done. Let's go to the second one. I don't have the third one. I'm not sure if I need a third one. Hmm, it's interesting actually. You can see they show six and eight pin connector. They don't mention anything about the disconnector. Um, accessories contain also something like that. Not so hard. That is the support for my card. I can add Touch the support so that it doesn't fall. Hmm, let me think what I can do with this one. And it's not in the documentation. Either. Electrostatic sensitive devices. Okay. Okay. Let's let's say I'm good. Very carefully, of course. Um, okay, let's, I can tell you this is quite heavy. It looks beautiful. As you can see, it's absolutely fantastic looking card. Um, okay. So, this 
a sensitive situation here. We will not mind them. Okay. Here we go. So there's one power connector here and then there is this supporting device that I need to attach to it. Maybe before I take this off, I find where this device should be going to. I'm not sure, I think I'm doing it well. So if I hold it for the radiator and the fans, I shouldn't be damaging the... Uh, I don't know, I should probably be careful with this. Okay, there is this device. Oh, there is an instruction manual. You can see what we need to do with this. It's something like this. Two screws. This is something here. Okay, there is screws of different types, but I didn't see uh, how would I use this. It says it go on motherboard. I'm not sure if that's a great idea. So if you look at the motherboard, there is these two screws here and here. So I'm gonna I'm removing these screws. There is this standoff, so I put them put here. I'm gonna put this rib on top of that, and then there is this blocking thing. This this will hold the card from falling. That I think is the idea. So what about this there? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there is some space. Oh, I just noticed there is more plastic to remove. Need to be careful. Have to be careful. There's more. Okay, there's two. The idea is that I put that in there, and on top of this there is this thing, I can use this use screwdriver on it. That goes first. Okay. I think the previous one actually. For the one whole pin. One, two, three, four. This one. I'm using HDMI, my, my monitor is just HD, so this 4080 card is not going to really do any, you know, 4K rendering for me. I'm going to play Counter-Strike in Max VT. <laughs> okay, um, we have a problem. Houston, we got a problem. Oh my goodness. cracked here. <laughs> oh, it's just all those elements here. They just, you know, just snap something. Hopefully, it didn't crack anything. Spark key just should be, should be good. I guess. Okay, should be able to try it in here like this. It's already there. I don't see it clicking. I don't see. I didn't hear it clicking. I didn't hear the click. Okay, let's see if it will blow up. Power on. Power is on now. Green is on. Let's see. Oh, it makes light. Let's see what's happening. Let me just get you closer to this event. what will happen next um, 
Oh, Angels has loaded, but there is no no signal on the screen. There's no no nothing. So uh, oh, HDMI. There's no signal on HDMI output. Hmm. I'm not sure what can we do about that. At least it didn't blow up. <laughs> mm -hmm. What can I do about this? And there's probably signal on in internal GPU. Yeah, there is a signal on internal GPU. Alright, let's check what Windows says about our um, you know our card doesn't see this card it's not in, in the list as it turned out uh, RTX wouldn't work with two power supplies I had to connect three power supplies I have managed to install this card so it's quite rigid there it won't be moving but there is work to do okay there's work to do I need to put two more screws in here there's only one screw I need to put two more I need to manage these cables because they will get into this fan in here. This fan and these cables, they are on the collision path. And I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this terrible spider. Why, why does this port have to be on the top? I mean, why? Couldn't they just make it here somehow? Like, I mean, they, they could just put some cables underneath. No, this is terrible. I mean, there is cable scaring me here. The kind of look industrial. I'm not sure if industrial is the look I wanted. Maybe, you know, it's supposed to be beautiful workstation. And they have this accelerate, you know, LEDs, which of course I can control from my gigabyte control center. But I won't be able to really see anything because this side is facing the wall, so all the colors will be just on the wall. So the memory bank is already doing the, the disco and the graphics card, I don't know. I was going to buy the consumer one, I decided to go with Accelerate because there was some discount. It costs like just 10 euros difference instead of 50 euro difference. So I just said, oh, 10 euro difference, I can have the Accelerate one. Hmm. Right, it says it finished, let me just close that. All right, it says it has RTX installed, 4080 Super. Yeah, it is a super one. Now, we are now still on Radeon, you know. This is still iGPU we're looking at. Um, so, I need to tidy up here now because, you know, I need to manage those cables there. I need to put the cover back. I need to turn off the windows. I installed the driver, but I need to turn it off. And once I tidy it up, put it back on, now we're gonna test it in some programs or games. A devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. Yes. Look at this, a lightsaber. The idea is that I press the button in the right moment so that it reflects into the trooper. Timing is important. This is, I don't know how much frame rate is here. It's it's crazy frame rate. This is on crazy settings and the frame rate is just crazy. But come on, this is 16 gigabytes. 16 gigabytes of memory on RTX 4080 Super. And this is only HD display. And I'd rather play on the HD with all until I asking and everything. Like this is mad. Like the image is so nice and soft and like the shadows, like I mean this is so amazing. When I was a kid I could only dream that this would be a future, you know. I bought this card because I just wanted to make my dream come true. Wow, it's a bit of a Mortal Kombat mix. Pretty cool, I love it. Best game ever. 
Jedi Knight is always the best. Oh. Die. 